Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video clip is a part of a bigger video where reputed medical oncologist Dr. Hemant Kumar explains in detail about the new cancer drug that is Dostarlimab and overall concepts of management of rectal cancer. Know about the cost of treatment with Dostarlimab and its availability in India by watching this video. Okay, so so far you told that it has uh, been tried in stage 2 and stage 3 cancers and it is it really seems like a wonder drug and eliminating the need for surgery, uh, other chemotherapy, radiotherapy and of course along with that the side effects that come with that. Right? So uh, the thing is that whenever we think of, we or any common man thinks of uh, cancer treatment, the most important thing that comes to his or her mind is the cost factor. Uh, usually it is a well known thing that the cancer treatment is very expensive. So, because surgery and radiotherapy is eliminated, will it in any way decrease the treatment cost or is it going to be a really expensive thing? The second thing is that, is it already available for the treatment in India okay. or uh, how does it look? Okay. Uh, very interesting and important question, right? So, uh, we always kind of take cancer therapy as uh, uh, a disease which basically impacts the financial situation and the economic burden on the family. So, uh, the issues why the cancer drugs are so expensive because most of them are kind of produced and patented by the US pharmaceutical companies and unless the patent fails, the price of the drug is governed by what is happening in the US, right? Okay. And we know that the insurance system basically runs the US medical mm. system mm. and the cost of drugs are really huge there yeah. and that basically gets reflected in the Indian system. Okay. Yes, probably there are certain cancers where we are able to offer what they have because the patents have expired and we've got what's called either generic or a biosimilar drug. Okay. So currently we can offer a really good standard of care treatment for lung cancer with a particular mutation. Like I told CML where imatinib yes. is very cheap. Yes. Yes. Uh, you've got uh, breast cancer where probably you can have a targeted therapy. Many of them are actually covered by Ayushman Bharat. Now, when it comes to immunotherapy, these have been the drugs which have come up probably in the last 5 to 10 years. Yes. And in India, probably in the last 5 to 7 years. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, we have the drugs like nivolumab, pembrolizumab, some other drugs like durvalumab that is there. Right? Now, this particular drug called dostarlimab is currently not available in India. Okay. Right? Okay. And in case somebody wants this drug, they need to import. And from what I've heard, uh, no specific references that I've got. It might cost somewhere between 8 lakhs to 10 lakhs per dose. And per that dose. needs to be given every 3 weeks for a duration of 6 months, which probably comes every, around... Every 3 weeks for 6 months. Yeah. So, roughly around you are saying nine like 8 to 9 eight doses. 8 to 9 doses. So, probably it might... And each dose costing? Around 8, eight to 10 lakhs. Okay. I do not have a reference That's for roughly this. a crore yeah. rupees. Yeah, yes. a crore. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, really impressive drug. Somebody who is probably can afford this yes it might be worthwhile but to a common man yes this is not possible now right to a common man this is not possible now and i told it works only in a specific subset so we yes. cannot standardize yes. the standard still remains surgery chemotherapy and radiation which is kind of possible either through Iceman for those patients who are really poor right. or right. otherwise also it is feasible so as of now there's absolutely no cost comparison we have other immunotherapy drugs like I told nivolumab, pembrolizumab, which still cost around 1 to 2 lakhs for every 3 week dose. So, okay. it is so that's like 4 to 5 times cheaper. Yes, yeah. it's 4 to 5 times cheaper, but yeah. still not affordable by common man. Even yes. probably me, yes. it is going to be difficult. Yes. Yes. But in the coming 10 to 15 years, we are going to get biosimilar drugs similar to this. Mm. And then probably the cost of treatment is going to come down. So. Okay. I know that the cost implication is there currently, but I am actually seeing a really good future in the therapy of cancer. A lot of targeted therapies are now available for a very less price, which is probably affordable to at least 80 to 90 percent of the people. And the same way immunotherapy, I'm probably going to see that in the next 10 to 15 years, we are probably going to have these drugs, which are going to be the standard of care. Okay. So the future is changing from chemotherapy, targeted therapy targeted. to immunotherapy. Yeah. And yes, trying yes. to improve on the survival at the same time where you're trying to reduce the side effects. Yes, so that is yes, what we are looking yes, at. Yes. 